Hi and welcome to another Lightworks tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to use sync groups and live editing. When you have imported all the clips from the different cameras into Lightworks, click on this icon to create a new sync group. Give the new sync group a name to make it permanent. Click on the cogs to change the settings. Li set live editing enabled to yes, concurrent play players to yes, sync to lock frame. This you should use this if your camera doesn't have a time code. And if your camera have a time code, you can use time code. But I'm going to show you how to use it with lock frame. And uh, when time code sync to video V, you don't really need to mess with this when you're not using time code. Oops, it should be lock frame and not time code. Yes, now it's correct. My mistake. And now we are going to import the clips into the sync group and to make the clips be in sync at a specific frame just open up one of the clips in the viewer just place the red marker where you have a good sync point like this clapperboard closing and you can click on the X on the viewer to close it now import this clip or drag it to the sync group bin and you will see a little L here it means lock frame so don't worry about it it should be like that and if it's blinking you have uh, enabled um, allow lock adjustments like this but set it to no so you not accidentally mess up the sync. Next, open the next clip in a viewer and um, find where it's in, it's in sync with camera one. Of course you can do this with how many cameras you want. But I'm just going to show you with two cameras. It's easier like that. And now, when you have the red marker at the sync point, just close the viewer as we did before and drag the clip into the sync group. Now, if we right click here and choose display viewers, both viewers of the clips inside shows each clip, each camera, and if we play it, we will see it's perfectly in sync. Perfectly. So now it's time to live edit. And um, to do that, we have to create a new edit. But we can close these two viewers first. And now the sync groups is very small, but just click on compact and it will extend again. Click on create new edit and make sure the edit is set to record. If you don't have a Lightworks console uh, Hammerhead posted what shortcuts uh, the keyboard uses to live edit. Live cut source 1 is mark in, live cut source 2 unmark or clear Live cut source 3 swap, live cut source 4 Q. But that's kind of hard to use. I'm, I'm going to show you how to assign the number pad keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the different cameras. Click on the editor preference and change view key assignments. And uh, 
scroll down until you find the live edit options here just click on assign key and press 1 and add key do this and when you live editing you just need to press the keys on the number pad much easier and if you haven't a number pad like on a laptop or something you can use something like alt shift 1 because if you use just 1 2 3 4 you will activate or deactivate the different audio and uh, video tracks so let's get started let's close this and this let's open up the clips into two viewers and place them side by side and make them small and then uh, it's best to start from the beginning to start live editing you press play and then you press the key assigned to the camera you want to start with and uh, when you want to change the different camera just press the key assigned to that camera so here we go let's start press play press 2 for camera 2 and now we want to change to camera 1 just press the key in my case 1 and there's camera 1 camera 2 camera 1 camera 2 camera 1 and um, this is basically how you do it and camera 2 now we had li live edited and this is like any other regular edit we can make adjustments here and join a, a cut and move just like everything else in Lightworks and if you want to use only the audio from one of the cameras just unjoin and drag to make the audio extend over the whole timeline like this and that's the basics of live editing